Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we are talking about Micro Studio. Now that one may sound familiar to you if you're a regular to this channel because I actually covered this game engine uh, way back in October 20th of 2020 and it's a very interesting game engine for sure. And one of those nice tools to get you started, works entirely in your browser, very um, comprehensive in the tool set that it has and it's really simple to work with. So I did that hands-on video uh, back then, I'm not going to go through a ton of detail on that one. Uh, if you're interested in checking out Micro Studio, it is available at microstudio.dev. The big reason why we are talking about it today is because they have open sourced it under the MIT programming license. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, source code is up on GitHub uh, under the PMGL Micro Studio. Uh, the guy that created this is somewhat new to GitHub, so if there's going to be some hiccups, he apologizes in advance. Uh, it is under the MIT license. The actual uh, engine and tools itself were written using a uh, coffee script which compiles down to JavaScript uh, so if you're interested in checking this out and learning it the, the installation instructions are pretty simple assuming you have node installed so that is the open source so now we're gonna go back a step and take a look at the engine itself again all you have to do is go to microstudio.dev to check this one out and the easiest way to get going with it is to go into explore and pick one of the existing projects so we're gonna go and pick the same one the racing demo this is one of the most impressive you can actually go ahead and run it right here and this gives you an idea of the kind of games you can create it's a lot like you know um, Pico 8 um, that kind of game engine kind of constrained hardware Apparently there's no collision on cars, uh, I don't think anyways. So here you can see one of the types of games that you can create using uh, Micro Studio. So now if you're actually interested in creating it, <laughs> I actually don't know how to quit. All right, uh, let me just, let me just close that window down. All right, here we go. So we're going back here. If you want to check it out, basically just grab it, uh, log in, free account. Basically you don't even need to register your email. You give an email address, a password, and a username. And then what you can do is clone it. And here you can see Micro Studio in action. Micro Studio is composed of a couple of different pieces. You can see here, uh, we have a number of different scripts. So this one is for the draw calls. This is initialization. Uh, this is a track function that the user created function. Uh, here we've got utility functions that they've created. So callbacks that you, you implement. If you look at the programming language, you're gonna find that looks like a whole lot like Lua. Well, that is because it is inspired by Lua. It's a really simple and straightforward style of programming language. In fact, like it's simple to the point where everything is global and less explicitly marked as local. It's got all of the classes that you would expect, things like screen and so on. I forget, does it have code completion? Yep, it sort of does. So you got uh, on the fly documentation so you can see what you're working with. So if you wanted to grab something, you can. You can see uh, how that particular logic works. Uh, everything is well documented. You'll notice the documentation tab across the top. Now, the key thing about this tool is it's also got a number of other things built in here. So you can see here, you have built in sprite editing tools. And this is always nice, especially for beginners. If you're trying to come in and learn a new game engine, a game engine that has everything that you need in place is nice. And they've actually got pretty comprehensive tools in place here. So uh, you got sprite editors. Uh, doesn't really apply to this particular project because it's 3D-ish, uh, but you've also got a 2D map tile-based editor, so we could go ahead and create a new map, uh, and all I have to draw with is car tiles. But as you can see here, you can create uh, tile-based maps, simple enough using the map editor. Uh, you have sound editors. This will basically you just drag and drop in WAV files, and here you can drop in MP3 files for your music. So unfortunately, it uh, doesn't seem like there's a music creation level app like they have for the uh, sprite editing apps as of yet, uh, but that is tagged as a coming in the future thing. Uh, documentation is also available here. I'm not really sure. Oh, this is for you documenting. Um, you got some settings of how things work. Here is a code you can send out so people can check out your project. You can have it so only certain people can edit and access your project. So if you're working on a team, uh, you can work that way. And then you can go ahead and publish your game. This will make it public so other people can uh, work with it. And then you can export it out into an HTML5 file, which you can use with uh, various different uh, websites out there, such as HIO and uh, congregate, or you can actually have it build an APK for you, uh, an EXE for you, a DMG file for Mac OS, or a Linux build. So you can work entirely in this, but you can share it out just like any other program. Uh, so it's a really neat project for sure. Um, if you are just kind of getting started in the world of game development, it's a pretty solid choice to so go here. We can take a look. There's a number of different options available to you. So let's say if we just want to filter it down by Pong-based games. All right, there's two Pongs. We'll pick one of these Pongs right there. And again, you can come on in, 
check it out. So does Pong have a map? Yeah, Pong has. Okay, it's pretty. It's pretty simple map. Uh, but you see here, you've got a number of um, different options out there. You got code you can go through and work with. Uh, you have a number of tutorials that'll walk you through everything you need to know. So for example, if you want to. Uh, uh, draw shapes for whatever. There's there's a tutorial here, walks you through nine steps needed, and it's actually directly inside of the editor walking you through what you need to know, the logic behind it, and so on. Also, you got pretty solid documentation available here. Uh, pretty much all of the code that you're working with, the, the language that it works with, and so on. Like I said earlier on, the, the language itself is very Lua-esque, so if you've got any experience with Lua, uh, picking up the Micro Studio language should be a breeze. Um, and if not, Lua is kind of one of those programming languages you can learn in a weekend. Uh, so if you're interested in checking that one out, uh, Micro Studio is a free game development environment, aims to be a platform for learning and sharing, open source, distributed under the MIT license. We saw that, that's new there. Uh, it's updated fairly commonly. It's patron supported if you want to check that out. And again, they do have a Discord server. So if you have any comments or questions or anything else about Micro Studio, uh, they are available right there. Again, it is now MIT licensed, uh, getting updated. So it was, it was licensed, it was open sourced about a week ago. Uh, I'm a little slow on this news, by the way. Safad, thanks for the heads up on this one. Um, it's definitely an interesting project uh, and one that I, uh, I recommend you check again. It's, it's a, a zero kind of cost of entry to get in because literally it's free and it's open source under the MIT license, which is a very liberal license. But you can literally just come on in here in your browser and off to the races you go. You've got full map editing, you've got full sprite editors and so on uh, for everything you need. Um, you can test on the fly, you got easy deployment, export single click to a number of different platforms. And it's simple and easy and straightforward. It's a lot like Microsoft Make Code in a way, except for that one is purely visual with the option of Python and JavaScript, I believe it was. In this particular case, it is 100% code based. Uh, and what you are dealing with is this, again, Lua-esque programming language. But to start your own project, literally you just create a new project. So back to new projects, create a new project, my project, and you are off to the races. Basically a series of callback functions. You, if, in your initialization, your update, and your draw. So when it first loads up, every frame, every draw frame. And you can see the results out here, your code, you can see it running on the fly over here. Uh, so as you're developing it, you have this nice uh, feedback loop going on and then sharing out the URL for someone else to check out your project is super simple and easy. And like I said, what I showed you earlier on, you can actually set it up so that you can have multiple people working on the same project. Um, it, it's, it's slick. It's definitely a slick um, IDE uh, kind of entry level game engine for sure. And if you can, if you want to check it out, it's available at microstudio.dev. Just load that up in your browser and you're good to go. And if you want to make a local version of it now, you've got the source code. You basically just clone it down using Node, run it locally on NPM and uh, you're good to go. Uh, let me know what you think of Micro Studio in general, them open sourcing it and these kind of game engines. Again, if you want something more visually minded, check out um, and make arcade from Microsoft is another great recommendation. Between these two though, I gotta say, beginners are definitely spoiled for choice. And it's one of those things that's kind of just fun to play around with for an afternoon too. It is well documented, good tutorials walk you through how to work with it. And then you've got a decent community out there for support. There's a, a forum available here and there's also a Discord server I'll have in the linked article down below. So that's it, uh, Micro Studio. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.